How's it going guys? I'm Spikeosaurus and today, today, you know, you know this thing. Yeah, that thing, the 20th Century Fox intro. I'm gonna try and build that today, but before I do, I wanna see what my competition on YouTube looks like. Now, I did just record this video, but OBS for some reason decided to not record the audio. I'm just kidding, it's not OBS's fault. I had the wrong audio capture. Anyway, stuff that you guys don't care about. So you'll see that when I search 20th Century Fox Minecraft, that I have already looked through uh, these videos. So here we go again, but this will be the first time for you. Anyways, let me pop my headphones on. And let's see what we got. Gotta adjust. Okay, so the first one that we have here, it looks like it's built on Xbox. But I, I do say it's, the scale and the proportions are really good on this one. The big zeros, big two, like the whole text here is thick uh, and it, nothing's out of proportion. So props on this one. Moving on to the next one though, it, not as good. We have some pluses here. He's got the angles coming in, swooping nicely. But everything's just kind of out of proportion. Like, yeah. No, so we're, we're gonna do better than that. For sure, for sure. And then I stumbled across this glory. Greatest video, I can't beat this one. This is gonna be hard. Beautiful. It's actually very funny. In the previous iteration, uh, I started doing the sound with him because he started doing good. I'll try and do it again, but here we go. He gets in position, he starts the pan. Sorry, I went into like a the SpongeBob introduction Krabby Patty voice right there, but he just reminded me of it. That was the highest quality production of anyone, so props to Videos Virales Pipe. Up top, what is this? I don't know why this is like Brazil. Those are the century. Okay. Anyways, enough playing around. Let's get down to business. Let's build this thing. Okay, so the first thing I will be doing is creating the outline and shape of the letters. I'm going to make these as large as possible while still being able to fit in details other than just the letters. To get a nearly identical shape for the letters, I pixelize a screenshot of the structure and count out block by block how the outline of each letter is shaped. And I do this for all of the letters. I'm using gold right now because it's easier to count the blocks, but later I'm going to change the blocks to yellow concrete. Once all of the letters are built, I arrange them properly with the fronts of all the overhangs that they sit on. Next I create the details on the front of the base. After that, I take each ledge and turn them into large squares, and then extend all the letters all the way back. So right now I've already done better than the rest of the builds on YouTube, but I felt like also adding a bit of a landscape. I do this pretty simply with diamond cylinders and then smoothing the area, then randomly replacing the diamonds with a handful of different green blocks. After that, I add a few main details that connect to the main two lights. I'm only going to build the two non-moving lights in the scene because they are the most important ones. I use white stained glass and panes to give the appearance of light shooting out of the spotlights and into the sky.
With those two lights and detailed sections in place, we are done with this build. Let's see the final result. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you liked it, give the video a like and consider subscribing. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below what you think I should build next. I'm Spikeosaurus, and I will see you next time.